Good morning, guys. Uh, so a while back, my cousin, Heather, sent me this big box of stuff. And I was very excited. It kind of felt like Christmas. So I opened it and it looked kind of like this. So this is from my cousin, who <laughs> didn't tell me she was sending me anything. So I don't know what's in here, so I thought I would share with you guys. and I'm guessing my aunt was in on this too. Thank you. So there is a little note in it, in the, in the, in the box that said, let the baking begin. Uh, because she watches my videos and I've done a couple videos where I've tried to bake and it has not ended well. So she sent me a whole bunch of stuff. She sent me mixing bowls and a measuring cup, which I actually didn't have, which is cool. And spatulas and measuring spoons and whisks and that's my phone going off and uh yeah so a whole bunch of stuff and she sent me a muffin mix because i tried to make muffins i mean it didn't end terribly but it didn't, it didn't end good i've been putting it off because it's, it's so terrifying to me to try and do this and so i'm going to try and make muffins again this could end so bad Preheat oven to 400 degrees. This is where I usually go wrong, but my cousin thought of this as well. She got me a little oven thermometer so I can tell how hot it actually is in the oven before I start. So, gosh, she's just so smart. I didn't even, yeah, I didn't even think. I forgot those even existed, which is how often I do this. Next, line 10 muffin cups with paper liners. Okay, so I don't have a 10. I don't have 10. I bought I bought a 6 one cuz I am alone and I don't need to ever have 10 muffins. So, I'll probably just do two batches then. Or make some fat fat muffins. We'll see. I can't even tell you how nervous I am. I haven't even started. I'm using, my cousin bought me some liners, muffin liner things, too. She thought about all of this, but mine are prettier. Well, not prettier, but just colorful -er. Whisked together egg, milk, and butter until well blended. Oh, I should probably get the butter melted. I'm so not prepared. And for whatever reason, I swear I have one. I really, really do. I, it calls for a third a cup of butter. And I cannot find a third cup anywhere in this damn kitchen. I, I found three fourth cups, though. I found a two-third cup, so I and it has a little ledge. I don't know if you can tell. It has a little ledge that says one-third. So I'm just going to go up to the ledge. I swear I have one somewhere. I don't know. So messy. This is why I don't cook. Actually, this is not why I don't cook. I don't cook because I have to, then if I did, I'd have to clean up. And I'm not so good at the clean up part. So, a, or butter in there. So I didn't have any milk, so I ran to the gas station and just bought a thing of milk. Like this. Why not? Okay, so <laughs> it calls for one egg. I don't have eggs, but I literally this morning, before I realized this is what I was going to do, I bought um, Egg Beater Smart Cups, which is supposed to be the equivalent of two, each cup is supposed to be the equivalent of two eggs. So I figure if I use half a cup, then I'm just afraid it's going to spill all over me. I figure if I use half, the, half of this cup, then that's one egg, right? Because 
right? This is just not something I do. So Heather, I'm really sorry if I if I mess this up after you've gone to all this trouble. I'm so sorry. <sighs> okay. She bought me whisks too, but I actually have whisks. I don't know why I have whisks, but I do. Whisk. Stir, dry them up, and mix into wet mixture. Oh, it smells so good. Just whisk, right? Okay, how do I know when it's well blended? <laughs> I think I asked that last time too. I don't know these things. Oh, it does say batter will be lumpy. Awesome. Good, because mine's lumpy. But that's okay. Okay, so I have my muffins in that I put my muffin liner thingies in, and I have my lumpy batter. So now I'm just gonna. This is I don't I don't know. I okay. What's the worst that can happen? I'm just gonna burn them again. I spilled. I should have maybe used a bigger spoon though. I can mix the ingredients, especially when they come in a package. I can do that fine. It's the actual hot box part that I'm not so great at. For anyone interested, I'm also going to be making sausage and eggs because I am fat and hungry this morning. So I'm just gonna put them in the oven Which is actually at 400 degrees. I'm just saying. I think I got muffin mix on my camera. Sorry, camera. Okay, so it's been 13 minutes. So I am going to take them out and call it good. Fingers crossed. Oh, oh, they look like good. I think I did it, guys. Those look like real, like muffins, like you would eat those kind of muffins. Here we go. It is like a muffin. It is like a good blueberry muffin. I think we did it. I think we did it. I'm really bad lighting right now because I'm right in front of the window. Okay. Success. <coughs> so, what have we learned today? I can cook when someone else buys the stuff, I guess. That's the lesson for today. Bye! Bye, guys. <laughs>